Right, learners, good day, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at smart art. Okay, so let's have a look at this. We're going to go up to our insert tab over here, and we're going to be looking at smart art. There's our button, smart art. We're going to click on that, and um, they'll usually tell you in the paper, you know, exactly what they want you to do. You just need to know where to go. So here we can see we have a number of different options when it comes to smart art. Um, you can see this is just a list of everything that's here. So when you're looking to display things, I'm just going to click on anyone. Uh, let's use something like this and I click OK. You can see what that ends up looking like. OK, uh, I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to give you another example. If I go insert smart art and I say I know we've spoken about the information process and cycle. So yeah, you can use something like that as well. So you can see there are different types you've got different layouts here on top as well what you'll also see is that when you insert your smart art you've got smart art tools that comes up here on top so this is where we can change the layout we can change the colors we can change the style you know all all these types of things um, and then we can go into some formatting when it where it comes to the text okay so those are all the different options you have when it comes to smart art then when you want to enter information, you can simply click in wherever you are and type in the information that you want to insert into your smart art. Right? You can also uh, move that through the document wherever you want it to be. And you've also got uh, your little layout options button on the side here, you know, in case there's maybe text or something in your document and you want it to display you know, in a certain way with regards to your text wrapping, you've got those options there as well. Um, but you can see when I click anywhere else, that smart art tools, it's gone. But when I click on my smart art, the smart art design um, and that format button comes through again. Now, if I don't want all of these, I only want, let's say, four of these options, I can actually go and click on that and I can delete that particular um, piece of art out of my smart art you'll see it'll automatically adjust if i delete this one over here for example you'll see it'll automatically adjust okay you've also got options on the left to add shapes um, to add a bullet to move things up or down so you can see if i move that up if i move that down you can see how that changes if i move it right to left you can see how that moves over um, when i click on text pane it brings up uh, a dialog box beyond the side and all that's showing me is that I can go and type in my info on the side here as well instead of just going over there. But whatever I do on the left here, it'll reflect in my shape anyway. So these are the basics when it comes to smart art. I'm going to do one more example, uh, a typical one that comes up, which is your hierarchy. And I'm going to use this one over here. Okay, so let's say, for example, this is oh, the spelling for the principal. And let's say this is the secretary. Here we have our grade head. Um, and here we have our normal teachers. And that's all fine. Right? Remember now? When I click on my smart art, I can change the layout. So I can even put pictures in there of the various people. Um, so the people can see there. I can put a little description or the name. If I use this one, I can actually put the name of the actual principal in there. Um, you know, you you have different layouts and guys, you'll have to just play around with that. Again, like I said, you can change the colors. Um, and if I want to delete something out here, I can do that. You'll see all, if, if, basically everything that I said to you from the previous shape still applies yeah so if let's say under the graded i want to add another shape you can see what it does right so i i'm going to click on teacher when i say add shape it will add a shape underneath that teacher if i click on secretary and i say add shape you can see it's going to do it in line with that why because it's coming from the principal um, i can demote that person then you can see it goes under secretary I can promote the person. So all of these things are just, I'm just showing you, you know, where all of these options are when it comes to your smart art.